Princess Kate spoke out of pressure of crucial decision involving George, Charlotte, and Louis. The Princess of Wales opened up about the challenges she experienced when she welcomed her three royal children into the world. But choosing their names wasn't an easy chore, Kate said to new parents when she paid a visit to the maternity unit at Royal Surrey County Hospital last year. She was discussing the trouble Amy, a new mother, was having naming her children. Amy revealed her encounter with the princess to people, saying, She, Kate, just really talked about her own children, including how they chose their names. She stated that these were their favorite names and that everyone was definitely waiting for them to name their children, which made them feel under a lot of pressure. What the royal couple wanted to name their eldest child was the subject of much rumor. Rumor has it that the name George was not initially intended for their first child. According to rumors, Kate and William were reportedly debating the name Alexander for their first child. Kate allegedly had her heart set on this name before the couple made a final decision, according to royal authority Katie Nichol. Courts claimed that the couple had not learned the gender of their unborn child, and intimate friends of the couple stated that William wanted a surprise. They had not yet chosen a name for their first child, despite the fact that Kate had reportedly thought it was a boy and had her heart set on the name Alexander. And this summer, it's anticipated that Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis will spend some time at Balmoral Castle in the Scottish Highlands enjoying the sunshine. The family stays in a cottage called Tamnagar rather than the big castle when they first go on the land. The king will be hosting the summer holiday there for the first time, and they are shortly to depart with their parents. The five-person family is expected to engage in some enjoyable activities while at Balmoral. Walking in the countryside, riding horses, and having picnics are likely to be some of the activities. However, this will be the family's first formal visit since the late Queen's passing in September, so the annual event might seem a little sad this year.